Welcome back to the Brightworks. We've got another Beyond All Reason game on probably my favorite map. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say probably my favorite map. I I, uh, I have a real fondness for them this map. Uh, it really fills all my my navy needs. Um, yeah, I really love this one. It is of course Supreme Straits. See down here in the little creator tag. Uh, and this map is a, a wonderful EV8. This is a is actually an, an uh, adaptation of a map from an older game called uh, what was it called? Total Total Annihilation, I believe. Um, Supreme Commander. There's a, there's a few other RTS games that are sort of uh, similar to Bar. The you can kind of think of Bar as like the I guess you might call it the the successor to all of those, at least spiritually, if not literally. Um, and in many ways, uh, a lot of the players that played those old games kind of recollect Bar as like a, you know, kind of in that vein of like very, very similar, but kind of also its own thing. Uh, anyways, uh, I love this map because I almost always get to play Navy on it. Um, everybody hates playing this side right here because it's very tricky. Um, I've, I've showcased the build order I use for it quite often um and typically the what that'll ensue is going for um well you'll see it here in a second but typically what that ensues is going for hovercrafts harassing early with light hovercraft um the player that starts over here um uh, basically just to slow down their boat protection uh which gives me enough time to move my commander down here and build the shipyard um and also using the metal advantage of this spot to to build up an army capable of pushing back this commander. Um, that being said, one of the crucial things is capturing this island uh, as early as possible. That's that's going to give me the advantage that I need to uh, hold on. Excuse me, to hold on to this uh, area. Let's see what our team is doing. Mr. Killer in kind of an odd spot. Although, oh, actually, no. I guess that's the right spot. Just kind of, it just is kind of a weird spot. Uh, but that's okay. We're going to start our hovercraft plant. Kind of put my commander in a bad spot here. It's just going to have to walk a little ways. Uh, but that's all right. And after this, uh, I want to get up to five windmills. And then I want to build a battery. And then I want to go get that max. This factory, I want to start producing three of these seekers. These seekers are really nice. They're actually the fastest um, light unit in the game. Uh, and they, all, they they do a pretty good DPS. So with three of them, you can put out enough to take down mexes and windmills and all that kind of early, early game stuff that you want to harass uh, really quickly. Uh, that being said, it is, you do kind of start in an in, in, uh, well, inopportune position here because the player over here can start making boats um, a lot quicker than you can, uh, which means that they can sort of contain your navy here, um, at least at the start. So if they make a naval blockade, you have to build some uh, coastal torpedo launchers then eventually some, some sea-based torpedo launchers. Uh, that's, that's usually the best way to break out, so to speak. We're going to make two constructor vehicles, and the commander's going to help build this. Actually, help with help with the first constructor, too. Um, first constructor goes back here and then comes back and builds a construction turret. Second constructor builds all of these mexes. Um, commander goes out to the ocean um, and is going to start working on the shipyard uh this is where when the commander gets over there that's kind of where you have to decide like okay if i um actually i'm gonna have you go over here i'm gonna have you go get this and then build and then no actually and then capture all these and then build this yeah i think that'll work well seekers how are they doing That's unfortunate. 
should be alright. Um, yeah, this should be alright. We need to change this up, actually. I built that. I need to build all of these. I think that one's working well. The reason you need this construction turret is because you want to be able to disassemble this factory at some point. And you have to be able to uh, do that you know, reasonable time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and the uh, best way to do that, of course, is just build a nano turret here, construction turret, and eventually it'll be able to tear down this this whole facility. Although you, you don't really tear down the power, you just really just want to reclaim all this metal that's tied up in here. It's almost 900 metal. Um, get you up to tech two pretty quickly. Uh, I do need to start harassing, which is kind of a bummer because I'm, I'm out of I'm short for the unit. This is the path I kind of like to send these guys on. Um, just so they kind of like will attack all the different uh, all the different mexes there. down to a turret, but that's alright. Still got one here. Take out the economy first. <clears throat> Boats are extremely metal dense. Um, meaning that taking out these mexes is a lot more damaging than taking out whatever else. Nice things about these units. They're so light they can sort of kite the commander around, at least for a little while. I'm going to put this third one here on their sea-based energy production. Um, and then we're going to build two dolphins and two submarines. That's usually what I like to start with. I think I'm going to have this guy build a... Is he in it? Come on. Surely. Ah! That is not the thing I meant to build there. Whoops. Um, yeah, I absolutely meant to build a <laughs> naval, naval, uh, not a naval, uh, uh, anti-air turret. That was that was not the right thing. Okay, tear down this factory. We did make it to the sea um, fast enough, so we're gonna be fine on that front. Now we just have to get an army out. Two dolphins is gonna be fine for now. Yeah, this was a this was a micro mistake letting this uh, island go un uncaptured for so long. It's another six metal per second that really should be mine. Um, you know what? I'm gonna send these dolphins across and just build two more because we're about to get a ton from this ton of metal I made from this factory over here. By about to be, I mean, eventually we will. Better to get this harassment in early. I actually built a coastal torpedo launcher, which is unorthodox, but in this specific case, it is actually going to help them a little bit. Okay. Want a radar up there? I think that might be handy. Dolphins can't attack the underwater mexes, which is sort of a bummer. Um, but that's all right. I don't really want to harass those right now. I already got his mexes on land. He's probably going to have to pull his commander back to go rebuild those. Because he probably doesn't have any land-based... Oh, There's a dolphin right there. There's two dolphins. Three dolphins. Yikes. This is actually a bad fight. Uh, that's just more metal that he gets to reclaim. Send the whole fleet forward. Uh, before you build anything else, build some more... I want you to go build over here. Build a bunch of things. Our comp this time around, I think I'm going to go two submarines, one destroyer, one dolphin, one skater. We're going to call that our comp 
Uh, I'm actually going to send this guy back. Oh, and uh, resurrection stuff. Second here. Three kills. Might as well take them. For future note, I guess it takes three. Um, Submarines in order to kill one of these dolphins. In one hit. That's good to know. I'm wondering why he's not pushing me with anything. Aircraft spotted. Oh, it's somewhere near sea. not know that he parked right on top of my submarines. Uh, I shouldn't have lost that dolphin right there. That's okay. Attack this. He's just going mass dolphin, which is kind of interesting. Not like per se the most exposing his commander here. Commanders are notoriously weak, especially against submarines. I'm uh, reasonably confident that we've won Navy here, at least for now. Oh, I didn't set this on repeat. That makes a lot of sense. Where are my units at? Ah, they're not coming. Build four constructors over here. Build two constructors over here. Lines of two, I mean. You come over here, build me six more on that front. Oh, we went T2. That's what happened. I see. Yeah, that is the danger you run um, teching up too early. You don't have the economy to sustain it. And sure enough, you can't produce units quick enough. He's got the submarine out, but I have I have a destroyer, so it's just launching depth charges at him. Uh, now let's back off for just a second. Let our resurrection submarine do its thing. Send this guy up here for a second. Just want to make sure that he doesn't have a mech up there. Bring the seekers forward. It'll be useful. Ah, gotta be dolphins harassing the destroyer. 
it's quite annoying, but at the end of the day, I mean, uh, I've, I've already secured all this, so he's not really going to be able to do anything. I, I didn't mean to, but I also accidentally destroyed his facility already. In fact, let's, like, let's purposely demolish this. is looking pretty good. Uh, sell me a T2 Bliss. You've received new units. Oh, well, I'm supposed to pay you for that, but I do appreciate it anyway. And you need to build one, two of these, and then two of these, two more of those, and then you start, I think it's fusion, start that with an advanced fusion. Start that with advanced fusion. There we go. That'll be our economy basically set for you know however long. Um, I didn't leave myself much room over here today. Make a nice little formation here. Can I go get oh? I see. Not a fan. Not a fan. Did you get a unit out or something? I think I just got that. Did the destroyer outrange this thing? to now. All right. Um, after this T2 comes up, we're going to start doing um, aircraft. For now, though, we can start firing on that. Since you can. Can you start firing on that one? We're going to move into its range. Just start shooting it. these guys in, sacrifice that dolphin, that's okay. Uh, you really don't have to go all the way in like that. I think you can shoot it from there. Just if you really want to. Really determined. How far can this battleship shoot? Shoot over here. boys in blue die kind of kind of make a little naval blockade here yeah looking pretty good okay this guy up uh, okay you go help this guy some metal production you're gonna build two these and then a 
do a naval fusion reactor or should we just go straight into defenses let's do a fusion reactor i feel like we can afford it let's turn repeat off on this clear it um it's gonna be two resurrection subs Should be building a air factory here. Oh wow. Okay, let's don't send that. Send these guys. Oh, we can turn off. Ask my friend for fighters. Oops, that was in caps lock. I didn't mean to didn't mean to yell that at him. Whoops. Does have an uh, air force though that he's just not using. A little, a little perplexing. Just a little bit. Try and coach this guy. Get him to look over here. What is he doing? I don't know. Uh, I'll make my own. Wow, just got super laggy all of a sudden. Not sure what that uh, frame drop is about. That's weird. You have so many fighters, just send them down south. Need to wake this guy up. Wake up! You are needed. Services are required. Just kind of just uh, hoping and praying, waiting, lingering. My economy still isn't up to where I need it to be yet. Oh, we're building the naval generator. That's right. I had forgotten I'd done that. Let's build a couple of these. Uh, anti-air turrets, because we feel like we might need them. Oh, all right. <laughs> we had launched two nukes, I didn't even... Or was it one nuke and... Uh... The hell? What just happened? We, just, we, just, we have one nuke launcher, but I guess uh, a comm went down and then somebody nuked as well. That's a cool play. Um, let's see. I want to put a Dragon Slayer somewhere over here. And then a Missile Boat is probably not a bad idea as well. Now that this generator is done, we're going to be starting up some better power. This guy's finally done too. That's good. Oh, anti-nuke boat. Definitely need that. It's going to take a minute. Boy, very framey all of a sudden. Not sure why. One of those guys is building like a huge amount of wind windmills or something. Something bizarre. Nice. He sent in the fighters and cleared out most of the fighters there. What the hell? I mean, it exploded over there and it caused a chain reaction. I don't even know what that was. I 
gonna make kind of a big like wall of these these guys. I'm gonna tab out real quick and just make sure. Yeah, no, it looks like everything's fine. I just I'm not sure why exactly, but somebody's uh somebody's doing something that's that's causing a tremendous amount of lag. Okay, nuke anti nuke ship is done. Um, are there any more boats I need over here? I did say the long ship. The long bow, I mean. There's a long ship. I don't know if it'll be able to attack there. Wow, yeah. I do apologize for the choppiness of this. It's very odd. Looks like we broke through whatever this defensive area was. That's good. Ah, and that's it. Alright, well there you go. I mean, uh, I didn't really get much into the land battle there. Most of my teammates won uh, won the land battle for sure. Um, Northern Sea definitely held its own. Super good job to those guys. Um, but there you can see my uh, my strategy for handling Supreme Straits, this uh, this corridor section. Basically, the, the idea is you, you will have more mechs as long as you keep them off of these mechs. Your, your economy advantage grows bigger and bigger. Um... So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that's a quick little battle, uh, but a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.